maybe I should have put this experiment in one of my Mega Mix videos along other experiments, but in this way it would be hard to Google this kind of information. So here it is, an entire video dedicated to this experiment. And here it is, the Tesla coil that in my opinion is basically the maximum in terms of frequency that you can achieve. Granted, you don't use things like magnetrons, radio transmitters or vacuum tube circuits. This is a classic Slayer exciter, uh, pretty classic. Uh, also, the transistor is a 2222. Uh, the only difference is that uh, this one here doesn't have an LED in anti-parallel from base to emitter, but it uses uh, diodes that you can see here. These are uh, 1N4148. These are faster than an LED, and this thing runs at above 50 MHz. The secondary is just uh, 56 turns of aluminum wire. It's wound uh, on a former of like one centimeter. It's uh, free, not sustained. Uh, I had to fit a small top load because the top load increases the backing effect on the bottom of the coil to drive the base of the transistor. There are two turns of uh, copper wire as primary, pretty simple, and the transistor is a 2222, but it's actually a fake transistor that was supposedly a BD139, but it's actually a 2222 because I characterized it. And that's basically it. Okay, now let's read its frequency. My scope is turned on. Let's give just 7 volts on the coil, drawing like 90 milliamps, and it's already picking the signal. Here's the probe. If I get close the coil, it increases the signal. Now it's maxed because it's over the supply wires, and it has a frequency of above 52 megahertz okay now full power let's give 10 volts drawing 142 milliamps neon bulb it turns on like this but not too much okay now a trick i have uh, this uh, nixitube uh, vintage nixitube uh, pretty classic and this uh, desktop uh, tesla coil that is uh, low power anyways let's turn it on and the nixitube glows with a classic orange of the neon Okay, but if I turn on this high frequency Tesla coil, the same Nixie tube, it glows like this, with this color instead. Okay, this is not the first time I show this in my channel, because I made several high frequency oscillators and similar things but yeah this color is due with neon to the high frequency because sometimes neon at high frequency high voltage but really high frequency it makes this uh, uh, pinkish uh, um, purplish color instead of orange okay So thanks for having watched my video and bye.